Hey everyone, this is Mr. Z and welcome to this video tutorial on how to add a 3D plumbing plan to your structure. Now, to get started, I'd like you to make sure you're on your ground floor okay, because we're going to be doing this for you with your floor plan and make sure you have some fixtures and a water heater in place. Now, I'm just going to do this with a water closet and a sink, but you can do this with as many things as you'd like. You just have to continue to add to that. Okay? The first thing we're going to do is hide all the elements that aren't really necessary for a plumbing plan. So I'm talking about the walls, the beams, the doors, all that just needs to get hidden for the moment so that it doesn't interfere with what we're going to do because it's going to get busy with 3D pipes. To do that, I'd like you to select everything like that, then right click, go to hide in view, and then hide in view by category. That's going to hide all of the things that are the same category type as what I selected. So once I've done that, everything's been hidden except for the fixtures and equipment. Now we're going to do this with three different views. And our first view is right here. It's visible to us. We can create the pipes. I could go over to my systems tab, go to pipe, select that, and I can draw in a pipe from the water heater. To roughly where you think it would be at in the toilet. So I could click there. And when I click there, you'll see that this message pops up. None of the created elements are visible on the floor plan, ground, uh, ground view floor. And there's a couple reasons for that. The first, if I go back to pipe, is because the offset's at 9 feet. And if you think about where the first floor is located, it's not at 9 feet. So you have a choice where you want these pipes and you could have them underground or kind of adjacent to the walls depending on how you want to have this set up. Let's just go ahead though and say we're going to make these underground so we're, we'll change that in a second. And the other thing we have to change is our view range. So to get to our view range just press escape a few times when you're on the ground floor and scroll down in your floor plan properties to this area here that says view range. And I would like you to edit that. And then for the top, make it unlimited. For the bottom, make it unlimited. And for the view depth, make it unlimited. And whatever your number is up here, you want to usually match that number. But in this case, because our pipe is currently at 9 feet, we're going to up the cut plane to, let's say, 10 feet. And I'm going to press apply. And when I did that, you'll notice that the pipe here uh, is visible. So now I can select it. Now there's a chance that your pipe is just a line and not an actual like circular pipe like mine is. And if that's the case, uh, the reason why is because your view down here, the detail view, mine's currently set to fine. But if I adjust it to course, you might notice that it's a line right now. And that just makes it a little easier to work with. But yeah, and medium would also just be a line, but fine actually turns it to the pipe that you want it to be. Okay, so I'm going to select that pipe. It's at negative 9 feet, but like we said, let's just go ahead and push this underground. And if you want to move it later on, that's perfectly fine. I just want to kind of be consistent with how we approach this. So I'm going to say negative, negative 2 feet. Okay. So that should have been pushed down to negative 2, which it was. And now I'm going to draw some additional pipes. And before I draw these additional pipes, I also want to point out that right now, the diameter of the pipe is 6 inches. And that's, that's a pretty wide pipe, even for a commercial structure. Usually when you're dealing with residential, we're, we're talking about a, an inch or so tops for like the flow of water in. So we're going to adjust our diameter from 6 inches to 1 inch. And then I'm not going to click on the pipe that already exists because if I click on it and I try to create a pipe to another structure, it won't actually create anything. And that's because we need to have uh, some kind of a elbow between the two. So I'm just going to go kind of like next to it, not touching it, just kind of next to it. And I'm going to draw in another pipe. And then I'm going to press escape, and then I'm going to draw in another pipe over to the sink. Okay, 
And to adjust the pipe, just select it, and you can change the diameter of that pipe as well. Now that all those pipes are in place, we just need to add a few more. And the ones we need to add are the ones that actually provide water to our house. So I'm talking about the water main, as well as the supply line towards the house. And then we're going to need some way to get rid of the wastewater. So we'll have a sewer main hooked up as well. To add those ones in, it's the same way. Go to pipe, and the, the supply line is going to be a little further down. So it's not going to be at negative one feet. Usually the water main can be somewhere between eight feet or so into the ground. So let's go ahead and say negative eight for this. The, the supply line itself, though, will be about one inch. So somewhere close to your water heater. Whoops. I must have been too close. Uh, I'd like you to draw in a supply line exiting from your property. Okay, and I can kind of see why this must be in my way, so I'm just going to hide this by category. Okay, and when we now also need the water main, which is going to provide water for hundreds of houses, depending on how your neighborhood's set up. So I'm going to set this to a negative. Whoops. Uh, the diameter is going to be, let's say, 8 inches, because it's going to be a larger pipe, because it's supplying a lot of water but it's also going to be at negative 8. And let's just kind of draw it out like that. Okay. Over here, since this is going to be sending out waste, waste cannot fit in a pipe that's only a 1 inch, if you think about it. Uh, <laughs> I mean, you, you throw a lot of stuff in the toilet, probably, and food and whatnot. So waste can't just go in a 1 inch pipe. We're going to make it a larger pipe, 2, 3 inches. Uh, should be fine. So let's just go ahead and say we'll make it two and a half inches and go over to our systems pipe and set a two and a half inch diameter pipe. And we're going to go with this one since we're, we're going to be going to the waste. Let's just kind of draw it out here. And then I'm going to draw one out here as well. Okay. This is all going to go to the same waste, so I'm going to create a way of connecting them later on. So all I need to do here is put elbows so they can all kind of match up. And then I'm going to go out here. And then this here will be my supply line towards the waste. And then this will be my waste line. Not like my waste line, but like the waste. Okay, okay, that there two and a half inches at negative eight, that's fine. This pipe here is going to be much larger. So let's go ahead and say 12 inch diameter for that one. I'm going to select it and just tap it a few away. And we'll make any adjustments that we need to. And then these over here should be okay for now. Okay, so it's a lot of pipes, but I'm going to leave that on the screen for a second and go ahead and draw those out and I will continue on with the next part.